Welcome back, everybody. Have Jim Rowlett with us. He's the with the marketing director, marketing director and chaplain for the National Street Rod Association. All right, the NSRA, the National Street Rod Association. Well, we got a lot to cover in a very short time here. You guys are having your what? The national get together next week. Forty first annual Street Rod Nationals Plus will be in uh, Kentucky Expo Center in Louisville. Okay, now is it always there, or does it move around? Well, we've moved it around. Uh, we've we've been in Louisville for thirteen years now. Okay, and uh, we've signed a contract to be there through twenty twenty. Okay. Okay. So uh, found a home, a lot of good area. All right, folks, now I want you to hold on to your chair for this one and sit down because I asked this question, I about fell out. When I asked Jim, how many cars are going to be on display next week and what you told me was? Have a, uh, last year we had 11,003, and that was 1948 and older vehicles. Okay. This year for the first time we've opened the event up to a 30-year rolling date. So this year we have the 50s, 60s, and 70s cars. So oh, wow. I don't know how many we're going to have. It's so going this to be is, an amazing show. Oh, this is cool because you're really looking at stuff. You you know, I'm thinking of car shows and, you know, current cars and all that. This is stuff that's 60 years old. Oh, yeah. At least 30 years old. The right. 30-year rolling date. And, and uh, you know, the, the numbers have been really great. Uh, we've done, this is the first year the National Street Road Association has opened all of their events up to a 30-year rolling date. Okay. And so we're seeing about 25-30% uh, increase in car count. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if that happens in Louisville, we're liable to have 15,000 this year. Uh, Dave, if you would pull up that, uh, that lower third. Here's where you can get more information, folks. Just go to this website. You can find out all about it. But we will tell you that the show kicks off at the Expo Center in Louisville on Thursday. Um, and it's going to be starting at 8 a.m. Uh, every day except Saturday and at 7 a.m. And then goes till the you know, like 5 o'clock or so through Sunday, through a little Sunday. earlier on Sunday. But uh, wow. And it's just 14 bucks. That's yeah. just amazing. It's, it really is a neat time. We've got some celebrities there. If you go on the website, there's an eight-page brochure that's on there showing the people that are going to be there. Chip Foose from Overhauling mm -hmm. will be there during the weekend signing autographs. Uh, a lot of different people. Stacy David from Gears TV will be there. Uh, it is the place to be for car guys. The average person that exhibits here, is it a guy that owns a car and fixes it up and all this, or is this groups of people or somebody that owns 10 cars? What kind of, what, who is the average exhibitor? A little bit of everything. You know, we have car clubs that come and, and uh, they'll bring 40, 50 cars in one club. Uh, we have some individuals. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, high end, low end. Uh, we have the builder showcase, which is in the exhibits hall. Uh, these are builders from all over the United States will bring one of their best works mm -hmm. to put on display. So uh, the guys that you see, uh, if, if some of the car guys there, the Bobby Alloways of the world, and uh, the the Riddler car winner this year from Detroit Autorama will, uh, will be on display. Uh, Ted Thomas and his group out of Georgia bringing that car up. So, you know, there's just a lot of neat things going on. A uh, little bit of something for everyone. We have an over, over 300 uh, vendors in the arts and crafts area. Okay. Uh, so that we call women's world because we understand the guys go in there too. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> guys aren't going to do that. No. no. Cars are around. They got other things to yeah, do. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, it truly is a family oriented type event and uh, we have games for the kids and a lot of things going on. And just about anywhere, if you're watching this in our area, you're probably between two and a half and three hours to, to this, maybe a little more in some of the western part of the state. But uh, just a great event, interstate all the way. I mean, you can't beat it, especially for the price. Absolutely, and and uh, we have people coming from all over the all over the world. Uh, basically, we have one group from Australia that comes mm -hmm. every year, and uh, they can't miss the nationals. It is the place. You have that many cars, but how many people actually come through the doors and look at? Probably those? in the neighborhood of seventy thousand will come through uh, during the course of the this weekend. This is amazing. Uh, it is uh, it is a huge event. The Visitors Convention Bureau tells us we have about a fifteen million dollar a year economic impact for yeah. the area. So, uh, you know, we'll have street riders coming through uh, from all over the United States to okay. come to Louisville. Well, Jim Rowlett's our guest from the National what, Street Rod Association. He is the marketing director and also their chaplain. Pull up the website if you would again, uh, guys. That's where you can go and get information that starts next Thursday in Louisville. You're heading up there to get it going? Going right now. All right. <laughs> have a great show, and we'll be right back. Thank you.